Hi and Assalamualaikum. So today, my team and I will present you our given task which is Obesity and BMI Analysis for our Form 2 Mathematics Mini Project 2020. So first, I would like to introduce our group members that leading by our responsible leader, Suhu Shakina Huda binti Muhammad Hilmi and the other rest member, Nura Shikariana binti Zamri, Nura Asmida binti Rosli and lastly, me, Aya Fazana binti Muhammad Azad. So, this pretty and smart girl from Great Mates will present you our complete task. First, I'm going to explain what is obesity, what is BMI, how to calculate BMI, relation of BMI and obesity, and how to manage ideal body weight. So first, what is obesity? Obesity is a medical condition that occurs when a person carries excess weight or body fat that might affect their health. Overweight and obesity are major risk factors for a number of chronic diseases including diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and cancer. Over 340 million children and teenagers aged 5 until 19 were overweight or obese in 2016. Overweight and obesity are linked to more death worldwide than underweight. Globally, there are more people who are obese than underweight. Next, what is BMI? BMI stands for Body Mass Index. Body Mass Index is a person's weight in kilograms divided by the square of height in meters. BMI is an inexpensive and easy screening method for weight categories such as underweight, ideal weight or normal, overweight and obesity. BMI does not measure body fat directly, but BMI is moderately correlated with more direct measures of body fat. Body mass index or BMI is a simple calculation using a person's height and weight. The formula is BMI equals to kg per meter square, where kg is a person's weight in kilogram and m square is a person's height in meter square. Next, I'm going to teach you on how to calculate the BMI. This is an example situation. In a PE class, Nina's teacher asked them for the BMI of each one of two Negri students. Nina was clueless on how to calculate the BMI so the teacher teach her. Nina's weight is 45 kg while her height is 155 cm. Using the formula that is weight over height square, her calculation will be 45 over 155 square. So her BMI will be 18.7. Next, I'm going to explain the relation of BMI and obesity. The higher the BMI of a person, the higher the body fatness. In the age of 14, that is from 2, if your BMI is less than 15.3, it falls within the underweight range. If your BMI is between 15.4 until 22.7, it falls within the normal range. If your BMI is between 22.8 until 27.3, it falls within the overweight range. If your BMI is 27.3 or higher, it falls within the obese range. Lastly, I'm going to tell you how to manage ideal body weight. First, eat a healthy diet. By eating a healthy diet, you can control and delay health issues. It also associated with aging like high blood pressure and diabetes. Next, exercise regularly. By doing regular physical activities, it can burn much calories and build the muscles that will make the body stronger. Lastly, watch out for portion distortion. Big portions piled on extra calories can cause weight gain. Sugary beverages such as sodas, juice drinks and sporty drinks are empty calories that will also contribute to obesity. Next, I will talk about our data collection that consists of procedure and materials for us at application. First, to complete this project, the teacher formed a group of four among the class members. Then, we conduct a survey among SMKSA Form 2 students and get their weight in height from 50 of them. After getting the data, one of our members analyzed it using suitable measures of center tendency. Then, all of us discussed in a group for the next step. And lastly, 
we do the report for the project. So, here is what we get for materials from WhatsApp application. Since we want to save time, one of our member managed to get this data from our WhatsApp group just in three days. Besides that, our teacher also observed this project in every classes to make sure all the work are correctly done. Our data findings here. Now I'm going to show you the analysis that includes data representation that is pie chart and cluster column chart, our calculation of mean, mode, and median, and discussion of the most suitable measure of central tendency. So from the data, here our analysis and discussion. This is our pie chart. The the percentage of students with normal BMI is 72%. The underweight percentage is 20%, while student with overweight percent, it percentage is 8%. As you can see here, this is our cluster column chart. Then I'm going to show you our calculation of mean, mode, and median. For mid, we add up all the BMI of 50 SMK Sultana Asma from two students and divide it by 50. The answer is 18.506. So the final answer is 18.5. For mode, we made a frequency table. We put all the information and then we calculate it. So the final answer for mode is 14.9 until 21.8, that is normal range. Lastly, median. For median, the number of student BMI is 50, that is even number. So using the formula that is n over 2 plus 1, our calculation will be 50 over 2 plus 1. The answer is 25 and 26. We arrange the number according to ascending order and the 25th and 26th number is 18 and 18.3. <coughs> Since they are even number, we have to add both of them and then divide it by 2. The final answer is 18.15. After that is the most acceptable measures of central tendency. For this type of data, the most acceptable measures of central tendency that we choose is mean. We choose mean because the other measures of central tendency is not acceptable as there are not much different numbers and they are repeated many times. After that, for our conclusion, we could summarize that measures of central tendency are very important to describe a whole set of data with a single value that represents the middle of the center of its distribution. From our data, we also can see that SMK Sana Asma Farm 2 students have normal BMI week because they join a lot of school sports activity to maintain their body weight. And the average BMI of SMK Sana Asma Farm 2 students is 18.51. That's it from me.